So if you're looking at network attached storage, there is a difference in network attached storage. And one of those differences focuses on the way that the file system and namespace works within the system. So without getting overly technical on this topic, let's just say that a file system, which is accurate, there are multiple file systems, right? NFS, for example, is common in network uh, attached storage, um, NTFS common in Windows servers. So these are two different types of file systems, SIFs and others, dependent upon the hardware and the operating system will have different types of file systems associated with them. So that's all fine and dandy. But what we're trying to talk about here today is what is the difference when it comes to network attached storage? Well, we don't have to be a file system and namespace specialist to understand that there are some common logical things that make sense that we need to watch out for when we look at network attached storage. Your network attached storage should always have the ability to have multiple file systems within its namespace, multiple file systems within its namespace. The, the flip side of that is a single file system with one namespace. So let's look at the check marks down here and talk a little bit about some of those differences. One, imagine this. This is just pure logic, right? If I have one file system that has grown to be humongous and I have to rebuild it, which one am I going to be better off with? A system that I have to rebuild that is humongous or a system I have to rebuild that is very small, individual individual file systems within that same namespace. At the end of the day, the network attached storage is still producing the same result. One is with multiple file systems, one is with a single. So quick reprovisioning multiple file systems, the one that circled better. Flexible and scalable. So often in network attached storage, there is a problem with over allocation. So you have to feed that monster, that single file space, you gotta feed it with a whole bunch of disk. Now, on the flip side, let's go to what I think is the preferred model, which is multiple file systems making up one namespace. Now I can be very flexible and scale my storage with my own personal business requirements. And then, of course, because they're individual file systems, I can focus performance on specific types of services that what my network attached storage is going to provide for me, whereas, whereas with a single file system in a network attached system, it's going to be a one size fits all scenario, which just simply in this very fluid environment that we live in today just simply doesn't work.